How sophisticated of an attack was this? Based on what we know of the technical information, the, the hack uh, is something that, again, I think uh, even your kind of competent hacker could pull off. Uh, you could have another hundred Sonys in the next month without much effort. I mean, that, that's, I don't say that to be in any way, you know, freak people out or scary. It's just the reality of where we're at, uh, that it is easy to break into companies. And we're really, really lucky that most people are actually trying to steal our financial data right now and not completely shut down and disrupt the company. How easy is it to find out who's behind the hack on this scale? Attribution and understanding who's actually behind the hacking is something that can be very difficult. Um, when you get uh, government resources such as the NSA and others involved, uh, there's a clearer path to being able to figure these sort of things out as far as who really is behind it. Um, and that's the thing that's kind of hard as far as are we really going to ever know or know anytime soon is uh, if it is somebody like North Korea, uh, if the government is to actually admit that and say that, obviously the public is going to say the next question of well, what do we do about it. Do you think it was North Korea? I, th I think there's a, a strong possibility, but I, th I think also given the technical nature of what we've seen publicly so far, um, there's plenty of other plausible reasons. And we know that the hacks, when they first took place, um, there was nothing mentioned about uh, the Sony movie, the interview, or anything else uh, related to the movie. And it was after some first reports came out commenting on the coincidental nature of it all. Uh, that we saw people claiming to be the attackers that did say, you know, it's uh, about the movie and everything else.